Hello, I'm your host, Amberlyn Carroll. Thank you for joining us on this episode of MedWatch Today. Over the past 125 years, community health system has evolved to keep up with the growing health needs of Valley residents. I'm here with Craig Castro, President and CEO of Community Health System, to learn more. And Mr. Castro, thank you so much for sitting down and joining us today. Thank you, Amberlynn. I appreciate the opportunity. In a nutshell, how has the exceptional vision and planning uh, gone in over the last 125 years to Community Health System to make it what it is today? Well, that's a good question. The Community Health System we know today is the realization of a vision Celia Burnett had in 1897 when she opened her boarding house to care for sick travelers. Today, Community Health System is one of the largest health providers in the state, due in part by the vision of our local volunteer board of trustees who have deep roots in the valley and a commitment to welcome and care for everyone who needs us, regardless of their circumstances or ability to pay. However, day to day, it's our employees who are essential to our operations and growth working both on the front lines and behind the scenes, making sure our health system could continue to provide the best care available in the Valley. And we also wouldn't be where we are without the ongoing support of our physician partners and generous donors. What does it mean to have so many donors supporting and believing in Community Health System's mission to bring the most advanced and the best care right here to the Valley? Donors continue to help us build and equip the finest facilities and provide the most advanced services for our patients. All donors help support our mission, no matter the size, whether that's a $10 million foundational gift for our neuroscience program, or a retiree and grateful patient who sends $10 a month to support our cancer program. Our donors believe in investing to ensure the best care available right here at home. For example, residents in our community donated more than $20 million to help make the Community Cancer Institute possible. Since opening in 2018, we've treated more than 8,300 patients. And Mr. Castro, as CEO, what are some things or accomplishments that you're personally proud of? I'm proud of the work we're doing to create leading institutes and centers for trauma, burn, cancer, neurosciences, stroke, heart and lung, bariatric, and neonatal intensive care. In the last 20 years alone, we've added more than 640 inpatient beds to our facilities to respond to the growing needs of the Valley. We're continuing to grow, bringing services online and strengthening our physician network. But what I'm most proud of is our team, which continues to step up regardless of the challenge in front of us. So before we go, is there anything else you'd like to add about Community Health System? You can build the finest facilities, but without our more than 9,000 caring, dedicated clinicians and employees, it's only a building. Our greatest resource is the people we have providing the best patient care available in this valley. Our top priority continues to be attracting and retaining top talent and the finest folks to work at our facilities. Mr. Craig Castro, President and CEO of Community Health System, thank you so much for sitting down with us today. Oh, thank you, Amberlynn.